Did you know that 90% of investors and dare I say advisors, you know, will go to these popular platforms, uh, sort mutual funds by return across one year, three year, five year time frames, you know, do some mental maths in their heads and then put in their hard earned money into these funds. And to top it all off, academic research has actually shown that Trying to pick funds through this metric or what we would call momentum actually does not work. They tend to mean revert to the lower quartiles over time and they don't remain the top performing funds. So how should you pick the best mutual funds? Welcome to another episode of 3 Minutes to Finit brought to you by One Tree Hill. Look, if the objective is to continuously find the best performing mutual funds for the future year on year in terms of return, I suggest you probably close this video, you know, throw a dart at probably these videos on the side out here and pick one of them. Now, however, if your objective is one, to outperform the benchmark and two, to outperform its peers, then stay put. We almost have all the answers for you. One, have a look at the age of the fund. You know, is it one of those newfangled ideas like a lot of those uh, thematic funds that get thrown around with the times and the seasons? Or is it been something that has gone through its own recategorization by SEBI and that has actually gone through multiple market cycles and got itself tested? No pun intended. Two, the team. You know, is the AMC management, the CIO, the fund manager and the rest of the investment team all aligned to the same objective? What is the objective, right? Is it AUM growth? Is it returns? Is it somewhere in between? More than the objective, it's whether they are all aligned to it or not. And you know, you could also try and dig deeper into the pedigree of the analysts and the senior analysts who are there and see how long they've been there. You know, these are the workhorses who attend conferences, visit factories and are doing the on-ground research and passing on that information up the chain. Three, communication. And I can't stress how important this is, right? You know, does your AMC host frequent con calls, uh, discussions on their portfolios, market views, you know, what worked for them, what were their wins, what did not work for them, what were their losses. And also, you could use this to just get a pulse on their tone and body language. Like, are they confident, right? Imagine if you don't know what your fund manager is thinking, you know, how can you be in a position to either exit, stay put, or maybe even double up your position or your investment? Four, is focus and this is where it gets interesting, right? So if I had to ask you, how many gold medals do you think Usain Bolt has won in swimming, right? If your guess is as good as mine, I don't need to give you the answer, right? Exactly in the same manner, would you not want your fund manager to have a singular laser focus on managing just one fund? Right? You don't want him to manage five, six different funds and excel at everything. You want him to have that focus on one fund and do really well out there. More the focus, better the result. Five, the AUM and liquidity go hand in hand. You know, will the fund be able to handle elongated periods of illiquid stocks if they are in the portfolio? Or maybe even a lot of redemptions without affecting the NAV. And will the fund manager be actually be nimble enough to get in and out of stocks at will and not have a significant impact on the portfolio? One other way probably to think about is, is that how many days do you think it will take that scheme or that fund to sell down their portfolio? And if you do a relative comparison, you'll at least know which ones are more liquid and which ones are more illiquid, right? And this comparison probably holds true across uh, comparative equity and debt funds.
Last but not the least is the return performance. You know, while point to point returns are important, the journey is equally important. You know, try and assess each mutual fund on the volatility, the risk adjusted return, drawdowns, maybe even consistency of alpha or outperformance against his benchmark. And you know, apart from all these factors which are there, the best part is that almost all the information that you require is either publicly available or, or you'll find it on the AMC fact sheet. That's it. And before I forget, you know, if you liked our video, don't forget to comment on it, like it, subscribe to our channel, turn on notifications and all those fancy things. See you.